Hi everybody, it's Heather. Um, I'm making homemade mayonnaise and I thought I would go ahead and just put up a video um, to show people. I posted this um, on my Facebook, but um, I thought maybe I would share it. Uh, people, I I'm into videos too, so. Um, what you're going to want to start with is a cup of olive oil. I would do, um, I would use organic, um, extra virgin, cold pressed. Uh, that is the best that you can get. Um, if you can't afford that, uh, I mean, maybe you can go with a cheaper, make sure that it's a light flavored olive oil. Um, a lot of people don't understand the difference between first, uh, like cold pressed and um, the heated. When it's not cold pressed, they take the uh, oils, it's any kind of cooking oil, and they heat it to extremely high temperatures and that causes a lot of health problems. So cold press is really what you always want to go for when you're dealing with oils. Um, so anyways, but use the lighter olive oil and not just the regular because um, the flavor, it, it's, it kind of messes it up. I've done this with um, light olive oil, I've done it with regular olive oil, and I've done it with coconut oil. It's really, really good with coconut oil. The only difference is, is when it comes out and you put it in the fridge when you're done, it's great. When you put it in the fridge, um, then you go take it out to use it again later, it kind of has a little bit of a um, uh, butter texture to it. Some people don't like that. I liked it. I didn't have a problem with it. But anyway, so the light virgin olive oil um, is what you'll need a cup of, one cup. You're going to need um, one egg yolk and one whole egg. Uh, so I'm going to take one whole egg broke that, and then um, you'll want to kind of siphon off. I use the egg. Some people have like an egg separator. I do the old school way. This is cheaper. This is easier if you don't have one. I just use the eggshell to get the white out and then drop the yolk in. Um, dump that in the blender. You can also use a food processor, like your Cuisinart. Um, you need something that has a hole on the lid where you're able to, while it's running, you're able to actually go in and pour the oil because you're going to need to do that at the end. You don't want to put the oil in until the end. Um, so then you've, so you've got one egg and then one yolk in there. Then I've got a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. Please use fresh. Don't use that other stuff that they have in the little lemon-shaped bottles and stuff like that from the grocery store. That stuff's got preservatives in it. It's not good for you. Um, so put that in there. Then um, if, if you like your mayonnaise kind of uh, with a little bit of a tangy taste, put about half of a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar in. Um, and then I've got from our local market, organic um, Dijon mustard. You just need one teaspoon of this. Uh -oh. Put it on the side. I guess I better add just a little bit more. Since it's probably not going to get in there. Um, then you need, uh, which I forgot, a pinch of sea salt, just a generous, gener generous, generous, a generous pinch. Um, then what you're going to want to do is pulse it just a little bit, just enough to mix it up. Okay, and then I'm going to pour the oil. I'm doing half of a cup at a time. This is really where the uh, mayonnaise gets costly, is with whatever oil you're using and how much you had to spend on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just on a low speed, the lowest speed that it's got, since it's a blender, and then um, you want to gradually drizzle it in there until it's gone. It might take you know about three minutes or something like that for you to do it, I don't know. It just um, depends. I do it um, until it's gone, and I try to do it kind of slow. But so here we go.
done like one full cup at a time so I wouldn't have to wait. If you want it sweeter, all you need to do is just add a little bit of honey. And it makes the flavor just a little bit sweeter so it kind of pops. You can hear it when it starts getting done because it, it kind of um, sounds like it's not moving. That's when you know it's really thick. thick um, I think I like mine a little sweet. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon of honey in there. And just drizzle it in. just a little bit. it cools you know once you stick it in the fridge it'll thicken up a little bit more but um, that's it homemade mayonnaise <laughs>